this is the new motor guy tour check this bad dude out this new prop right here is supposed to be legit like they say this thing is freaking amazing so we're gonna see what's up with it see if we can kill this thing this year we gonna try well we are in florida officially past the state line just a little while ago had to whip the sunglasses out that is a nice change of pace for late january so basically we're in florida now we're gonna be fishing every single day in florida posting videos regularly so go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn the alerts on you don't want to miss none of these videos coming up where i have mapped out a local lake today we're gonna to go to a small little lake you might have to pay to fish there i'm not 100 percent sure but that's where we're headed right now we've got the truck packed up we'll be down in florida for eight or ten days leaving straight from here going to dayton tennessee to fish the lake chickamauga the second bass elite event so hit that subscribe button follow along let's go catch us a 10 pounder where are we at kyle Okay, so, well, basically we were at a small lake in Florida that we found on Google Earth. If y'all have watched this video, very, my video is very long. You know I do a lot of research on Google Earth. So, found this little lake, about to put in. Have not showed y'all the boat wrap yet. So, I'm going to do a quick boat walkthrough and show you how I've set the boat up for this year. All my stuff, all my sponsors and what they're going to be doing for me or what of theirs I'm using, basically. And show y'all the boat, show y'all everything I got. Got some new stuff for this year, so check it out. First thing, I just put this on yesterday. Got the brand new motor guide. I just got it in literally yesterday morning. Put it on the boat. I'm super excited to see if I can burn this thing up this year or not. Went through two last year. See if we can make one last all year. What? Same motor from last year. 250 Pro XS four stroke. Everything's good on that part. Got two of the brand new style power pole blades. Everything on them is, there's a few things that look different for these. Now the, uh, the wires come out of the top instead of out of the middle like they did last year. This looks a little different as far as the housing goes. It's just brand new. These are 2020 power poles. The, the ones last year had the black pegs. All the newer power poles come with black spikes at the very, very bottom. So both of mine sets have had that. And Ranger Z520L. Well, as you can see, I put my YouTube channel as my title sponsor. I'm hoping to be able to change this throughout the year at some point to a actual real title sponsor. But for right now, I'm paying for all this, so I'm sponsoring myself. You got Fuji in the back. That is the rod components for me building my own rods. And then in the front, I have point blank rods. These are, these are the rod blanks I'm using this year. I have point blank. And then on the outside, power pole, mercury. I got some lit up here. That's where I got my Shimano reels for, for this year. Striker, that is the clothes that I'm wearing. Kyle Welcher, that's my signature. I gotta show y'all this bracket, got it put on. This thing is solid as a rock. I'm talking about, I mean, solid, solid. That's my boy Will Jones at JMT CNC machine in plastic molding. He does it all. I'll link his stuff in the description like I said earlier. Got this thing, now I'm gonna hop up in the boat and show y'all how I've got it laid out for this year. All right, so I'm going to start out at my favorite rod compartment. I mean, my favorite compartment, the rod compartment. This right here. I've got all my point blank and Fuji rod component custom built rods I've got in here. Everything in here. A lot of stuff that's not even going to work down in Florida, but i got stuff in here anyways. So, go ahead and pull out me a couple rods. Get everything ready to rock and roll for Florida real quick. But that's what my rod box looks like. So this rod, I don't have anything tied on it. So good time to show y'all my center console because I got to tie something on this thing. So this is how I set stuff up. I'm going to tidy it up a little. Tidy it up a little. Got all my boxes right here labeled with how what is creations tackle tags. This right here is how I store all my soft plastics. These things are like the perfect width for storing all these regular size like Zoom and other company bags. Hooks. I keep them pretty organized. I keep them in things like this. And you can see I can store so many hooks in one of these little slots. So I put them in these little bags like this. This year I will be fishing with Titan Tungsten. That's why y'all see that. So all the tungsten I'll be using will be Titan hooks. I use a variety. And then and all my line will be canine. But other than that, I'm going to give y'all a little more of a tour of the boat. So we're at the front deck. I'll go ahead and show y'all. Don't even really know what's in here. Oh, we got stickers. Okay. I also have my striker rain suit, life jackets paddle and my light so that's where i keep all this stuff i need to fasten this light in actually 
This right here, people refer to as a day box. It's just another storage compartment. So basically, right now I've got in there a spare prop and pretty much that's about it, spare truck key. Other than that, I will put rain gear in there. You know, I'll put all kind of, whenever I've got baits I'm trying, I'll just throw them in there whenever I've got baits I've kind of been catching them on. I might put them in there, just, I'll put all kind of stuff in that box. I just change it out all the time, so. And snacks. Snacks, stuff like that. Everything just kind of goes in there. If I take my hoodie off during the day, throw my clothes in there, everything. That's just the kind of box that I just open first and foremost for pretty much everything and anything. Right, so center console, just a little, I throw everything in there. Everything that's in my pockets goes in there, first thing first, and the turn People like to see the live wheels. This is the color of water we're in today. So this is what it looks like. Two pretty dang big live wheels. This side over here, I've kept empty for my co-angler all last year and i'll probably do the same this year because i'm not really sure what a marshal is going to bring and all that stuff this side over here i've got coil tags tool kit weighing bag in case i get broke down g juice i got a rinse to change my prop and a throw cushion in there sunscreen stuff like that very very standard i feel like i try to keep my boat as light as possible all the time and then back here onboard battery charger right here power pole pumps are behind that i've got a big 31 size agm cranking battery then three 31 size agms for my trolling motor batteries and i yes i do run those dead every single day so that is pretty much mercury pro access four stroke has a 23 pitch fury prop on it that's about it i mean that's Everything I do for my Ranger, that's how I load it. I try to keep it very, very light. Batteries in the back, all the weight, tools, stuff like that is back here. Plastics and stuff are in the front, so it does weigh it down a little, but it's not a big deal. I still get, down here in Florida, I'll get 72, 73 miles an hour out of this boat. So not a, not bad the way I load it. Pretty light. I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all finally saw the wrap. So stop asking. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm in Florida, so I'm gonna start out with a black and blue jig. So that, oh, that reminds me. This rod right here, I've got the new Shimano Cronarch MGL on it. Got all these from Summerlin Outdoors. See the sticker right there? Got all my Shimanos from Summerlin. I'll be fishing with the Shimano Cronarch MGL mostly this year. Start with this black and blue jig. That's what I'll be fishing with, but that's one of my point blank rods and Fuji guides, everything. Cronarch MGL. Big old flipping jig. That's an untamed tackle eviction jig. About to bust one on this thing today. On Google Earth, I saw this place and I said, I'm going to come put in. Now we're gonna crank it up. Look at this giant. Oh, Lake Butler, giant. Woo. Hold on, dude. Hold on, dude, to me. Look at this big one, dude. Oh my gosh. Hard fault. Hard fault. You get the release, and every day you catch one, it's like. Almost, almost eight. turn the alerts on we're in florida now be here eight or ten days going to chickamauga next don't miss nothing subscribe turn the alerts on see y'all